Good morning, boys and girls. Um, I have a new partner in crime. It's a uh, Martin Triple O Fifteen M. Yes, there is an aroma to it. It's all mahogany. Uh, ebony pins, bone saddle, bone nut, Grover, open tuners, and it was made in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's uh, an American musical icon, and if you'll notice, compared to my other guitars, it has no bling. This is bare, essential, and uh, utilitarian. And if I'm anything, it's utilitarian. Uh, now, my other guitars, uh, I have them because the bling, if you will, the binding uh, jumped and headstocks just jumped out at me. Uh, and they sounded good, so I got them. And they were relatively inexpensive, comparatively speaking to this. Now this is not a high-end Martin. Um, it was made in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Uh, but I suspect the reason it's not high-end is because it doesn't, according to the specs, it doesn't have um, hand-scalloped bracing. Um, but okay. <laughs> it's still... Uh, adds to my family heirlooms uh, substantially, I think. Just sitting here looking, uh, the height of the saddle, I can see it uh, gives quite a bit of break to the uh, strings, uh, the action. Um, I haven't measured it, but uh, it looks real close to what I prefer uh, at the uh, 12th fret which is uh, 330 seconds. It's probably a little higher than that, but oh well. Um, when you do the, the clamping, uh, it, it works out for me. Um, so we're good to go, I think. Um, Although I may, I may shave the saddle down a little bit. I don't know yet, because uh, I will put ladder gauge strings on it. Uh, Sweetwater, uh, part of the deal I couldn't refuse was uh, I asked, could they throw in a, a set of strings that I've grown fond of, which is GS, GHS, cryogenic 1150s, phosphor bronze, and. Uh, when it got here, it had two packages. Um, and speaking of getting here, I ordered this thing on Monday, uh, somewhere before noon. Um, I asked them to talk me out of it, and they failed spectacularly. They made me a deal I didn't want to refuse. Uh, and got here Thursday at noon. Oh, man, that's impressive uh, from... Fort Wayne, Indiana to where I stays, whoo, that's impressive. Anyway, uh, it came in a shipping box and it had a big yellow label on it that said caution. I thought, dang, that's going to a lot of trouble there. You know, uh, thank you. I, I would have expected fragile, but it didn't say fragile, it said caution, it was yellow. And uh, got to reading it and it said, don't open the box for 24 hours. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, because it has to acclimate. Oh, gee whiz. Come on, guys. But I waited 24 hours and 22 and a half minutes <laughs> um, because uh, uh, something came up. I had to help a neighbor lady with a car, and I didn't get home till 12.15, uh, so I got it unboxed at 12.20. Um and I was impressed. Yes, it has an aroma. 
uh, like none of my other guitars have had. The case is substantial, very sturdy. Uh, it's green, dark green uh, interior. Uh, you know, yesterday, the way the sunlight coming in the window, though, it looked blue. Uh, kind of like that mystique paint that four covers used to have. Uh, you know, change colors. Uh, but be that as it may, uh, I, I couldn't, the serial number card they sent me uh, listed all Barton serial numbers through the years. Didn't get as high as this one, so I'm going to assume that uh, it was manufactured in 2021. Uh, although I could be wrong, it might have been 2020. It only went up to 2019. Uh, so um, I'm happy. I, I've, um, I've really got something I think my kids and grandkids can uh, hang their hat on, so to speak. Um, it's, uh, and I'm not gonna sing or ruin this, but I will play it a little bit and hopefully you can hear it. Um, that's something I'm working on too, is trying to find a, uh, an interface because these soft tone guitars, mellow tone guitars, don't don't come through quite as well as the uh, spruce tops. But you know, I this is just, I'm playing a GC and a D. Nothing fancy because I'm not a fancy player. I can't play fancy. I'm a cowboy corner and not even really good at that. I love the sound of that D. it's not there in a couple of days I'm going to be hosting a couple of songs I've been uh, practicing that I think are very fitting for our time and me. And I suspect I'm probably gonna be redoing a lot of songs with the newest member of my tribe here. Essential, bare bones, no bling, straightforward, unadulterated. Me and a partner in crime. Thanks for watching, guys.